Have you guys experienced that game yet? Uh, what game? I just Japan want to game, sit yes. down and play Shadows of the Dam together. What is this? I, this I, isn't what's in the, the other? City. What's the, the game Suda Fifty One boner? It's a Suda Fifty One game where you've got the. Oh um, God, these guys! Oh, <laughs> well, that's interesting. It's a shield barrier with ants inside. Yeah, and the ants look like they have a spawner Ooh, no falling too. Damage. Yeah, be great. Okay, let's go for the one on the left. Yeah, I'm already. So we here. don't like. Uh... Oh, duh, you are. So what sort of game are you trying to ask about? Oh, what's the know, I wanna... what's in the 51 game? Is it where the guy has like the the mechanical arm or whatever? Um, I have no idea. You don't remember what you're talking uh, about? Yeah, I, I don't even. Oh, it's killer. It's like not killer's, even words. Killer is dead. Oh, That's killer the is one. dead. The one that no one remembers exists. <laughs> That's the only one. That's the only Suda 51 game I know killer about. Killer is dead for... is to Suda 51 what Anarchy Reigns is to Platinum Games. Oh. That's yeah. quite a metaphor that actually makes total sense. Yeah, they always do. You always say that. <laughs> well, fine. Yeah. And if you're rain dance. starring special guest Bayonetta. <laughs> I'm positive that, the are that was apparently a disaster. Because <laughs> I have to tell people what that game is already. Did you just sass yourself? Because I'm yeah. getting very confused now. <laughs> no, I mean, like, generally I have to explain to people what Anarchy Reigns was, and it was a relatively recent uh, release from uh, Platinum Games. Everyone's darling now, apparently. Yeah. They've had kind of an interesting career of being everybody's butt monkey to... Yeah. actually, like, a fairly, Platinum... like, household name. I mean, you... Platinum made, a um, was it, Gunstar Heroes? That was, like, and then Ikaruga and stuff like that, right? Wait, they made Ikaruga? Didn't you Platinum sure? Games make that? That's like... I don't... Has Platinum Games been around for that long? Because they they spun off from people that worked on... Uh, like, they people were that worked on Devil May Cry. And, yeah. Platinum... So that means that like, the entirety oh. of Platinum Games has to be, like, for example, younger than, Ow. like, Resident Evil 5. Because Resident Evil 4 was the second attempt at what after they made Devil May Cry. Because Dove My Cry was originally... Up, but it's very hard to, to, to fly around one-handed and kill things <laughs> and not die. That's a really strange piece of history, that Dove May Cry was a sp was originally supposed to be Resident Evil 4. Really? That's yeah. weird. Oh, that's why it has that, fixed camera right. angles like ha like, like, uh, like uh, Resident Evil games do. In the first one, I've never actually seen the original Devil May Cry. It look, it's uh, it, it plays like Devil May Cry, but looks like Resident Evil. <laughs> huh? Because it has Monkey. the fixed camera angles for the entire game, I, I believe. So it was built in that system, but then they started over, and that mixed up in its own weird thing. And then, Devil May, then our Resident Evil Four became Resident Evil Four. The Platinum Games was founded in 2007, so it is a different studio that made Gunstar Heroes and Ikaruga and stuff. Isn't like Gunstar that. Heroes like a Sega Genesis game? Yeah, yeah that's pretty well, old. I thought that it was Platinum, but I guess that must be a different. No, that was Turquoise Studio. studio. <laughs> Me. <laughs> uh, I know there's no such thing as Turquoise rare Studio. Earth metal not true. Studio. <laughs> Were you actually <laughs> looking it up? No, I mean, I am looking at who made Gunstar he Heroes. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm trying like, to. Bird's like near death to begin with, so it yeah. kinda... Yeah, I picked I'm... up Gunstar Heroes totally at random as a download on Xbox uh, on Xbox 360 and was actually pretty blown away by how neat that game is. Dude, Gunstar Heroes is a really cool game. It was, it was so much more playable than I expect a old-school side-scroller yeah. to feel. You f usually expect them to feel weirdly clunky and outdated, but that was, like, so snappy it felt like it would have been made by the people that made, like, Geometry Wars or something. Like, it just felt... Oh, true. Like um, okay, so the people that made Gunstar Heroes was Treasure, who also made Ikaruga. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's so why... So you were right, except for how wrong you were. Treasure and Platinum are, like, all really the, similar All the things concepts. we were wrong about were collectively right together. <laughs> yes. I guess. I don't know. If you're gonna give me that credit, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my ants. God. We have red ants. Red ants. They're, They're huge. huge. That seems Big. like a bad. Maybe I should start bringing the air raider back. Just so I can... <laughs> did we take out the other die. pile? We did. Okay, awesome. You have the weirdest exposure to Killer is Dead, because don't don't you know about it because you tried to do a post-commentary yeah, dialogue post with Spider? Yeah. Uh, 
I don't that know was a for you. It Would you win one of those? <laughs> uh, me, I don't know. I choose to forget the before. For a little times. bit, for a little bit, Spider's gimmick was going to be that he was going to pre-record footage for like thirty minutes and then get people like you and Wander and stuff to like just talk with him while watching the video. And that yeah, was I never did play. that. With the spider. You and I kind of were going to do that with Deadpool, but then we realized Deadpool was garbage. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a very good game. You were gonna it do something yeah, to work I, with. And we were gonna we had an idea of we were gonna spin off that idea and we were gonna all take turns recording shitty games and then uh, then experience them together. Uh I was gonna do I don't think that, that was ever an idea that was particularly seriously pursued. Uh well under and I've talked about it like probably three plus times. Over time, it was. That doesn't count I, I, as a particular yeah. serious pursuit. I was gonna record uh, all of uh, Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z. <laughs> huh? It would actually. Uh, be are you glad that you didn't do play. that? Yeah, because <laughs> instead I just did the same thing, which was just get back with Andrew and do actual sad games instead of this weird proxy pre-recorded, like made-up copy of it. <laughs> I would actually like to do it at some point where one of us like streams the streams the game to the other ones, but I don't yeah, know how yeah. that would work. It's just there's that delay, man. That delay is weird to work with. If we can get a small enough delay, it'd be a great way to do her story, because it's a game about arguing about what whether or not like what the hell the crime was and what happened and stuff like that. Isn't that the one where you play Instant Messenger? Uh, it's, no, it's the one where you're watching police archive tapes of a, of a woman being interviewed about a crime. Oh, yeah, that it, one. Ooh, dispersal mortar sounds like a fun thing. Oh, you got the disporter? Disporter? Uh, do you have, like, do you have, like, shotguns or flamethrowers? Because we're going to be in tunnels again. That means it's mortar time. <laughs> Ooh, disperse over a large area. That sounds like fun. You need to calm your shit, bird. I'm I'm spamming yeah. You need a, yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> Why? How can he be such a good person, like, but somehow just a giant turd? I sound like Bono. Oh, 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 dude, oh! This is awesome. You made the reference. Yeah, that was that was that's why. That's why I said. I know. I know. <laughs> I discovered Whoa. it a little too late. <laughs> Whoa, dude, what are these guys? Oh, and how can I get their guns? Which one of us was that? Uh, in a confined space, I can't tell who's doing what. I'm gonna go shoot down this other tunnel instead. What? Let's see. Well, wow, it's a long La reload time. Man, the this laser sniper Let's rifle see what this gunshot this does. Is bizarre. Whoa! Thing looks that's brutal. My gun. No, that's my gun. It no, my gun was the one I was reacting to. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I was talking about the fact that my gun, like, basically does like a laser light show down the My gun tunnel. takes five years to reload. <laughs> My gun getting, plays three dog hit. night in the background. I think oh. I'm getting hit by your gun back here. Oh, absolutely. Probably. I'm, I'm, definitely getting, I'm definitely getting hit by the light show. <laughs> I guess I'll stop, sort of, maybe. No. Wanna. We know you too well. There's there? just piles of bodies everywhere. Yeah, you can't, damn. You, you can't even see past them. I know, because this gun is awesome. But also, because it, it's also apparently a gun that doesn't destroy bodies, is the issue. But it hits everybody. Yeah. Jesus, it, they're just, just what is it, killing everything. them with radiation. Like they're not, they're not, their bodies don't go away. I feel like I should almost just like hop out of this thing and just follow you guys because I don't know if I'm ever gonna shoot a living creature. <laughs> this is the best level. This Jeez. is so. This is the easiest thing yeah, I've ever done. This is, this is the time to use that exact weapon. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. It, it must just hit every enemy like six or Is seven it, times. Yeah. Yeah, I get another one. Okay. I'm just gonna sprint after you guys I, because my depth crawler is like the slowest the very thing ever. Contextually sensitive weapon choice. I get also off the ceiling, can't, asshole. Like, I cannot get around these dead bodies. <laughs> There's so <laughs> many. I didn't bring my shotguns either, so I can't clear them as easily. Ow. Blow. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't, you didn't like the mortar? I like the dumb guy giggle there. <laughs> Wait. It feels good to be so awesome. <laughs> How does it feel to be so slow? 
Slow down. No. That's the whole point. Is that How are you slow. faster than me? Because I'm because I'm the super fast guy. Oh no, no, this is terrible. What that I'm fast? No, oh, this that place I, is oh big. my Yeah, the place is big, but also my laser sniper rifle does not seem to be slowing down in the slightest. <laughs> it is still a ricochet death matron. Yep. Good god. You're, yep. Dear Lord, it's murdering You become very everything. powerful when you have a ceiling. Yeah. Much unlike real lightning, if I may <laughs> say so. Unlike you, my weapons are completely unequipped for dealing with this scenario. And they're basically garbage. Hooray. I'm a spider. Trying to fire this thing is kind of butts, but it's working actually really well. Wow, this thing actually kind of just cuts through them. Whee! Yeah, they're I, 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 I could have never have, been a threat to anyone ever. I couldn't I piece might it together, but I wanted to do a bunch of people. I couldn't quite piece it together, but I really wanted to do like a I'm a survivor, but I am a spider. <laughs> it's the I am a spider. That's not. Is that, is no. that what you're going for? No, like I'm a survivor. Yeah, yeah. Eye of the tiger, I no. the thrill of the fight. <laughs> no. <laughs> is this just sing along time? Because all I know is row, 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 row. That's not true either, you liar. You know every anime rivals. intro. You disgusting I person. <laughs> really don't. <laughs> Boing room. Fuck that particular area. That's my gun. <laughs> I can fire that twice and then I have to wait for it to reload for about 15 seconds straight. <laughs> Not even that powerful, it seems. Maybe it really would destroy a Hector. Your diary. Today I found the greatest gun ever. <laughs> and, and, and next mission it'll be irrelevant again. Push me along, Keith. Push me along. Oh no. Bye bye. Don't, le don't leave me. I'm pretty sure I can't push you. I'm so lonely. Did you ever read that really crappy Doom promo comic from like the early 90s? Yeah, it's awful. Oh, Somebody it's was so me about awesome! That. I, I was really... just reminded of it when I was saying, like, Dear Diary, I found a really cool gun. Because it's basically the plot of that comic strip. <laughs> I want to read the Doom books. They're Doom books? Yeah, they're supposed to be awesome. Really? In particular, the I one that... Video game books are, generally speaking, always really good. <laughs> there's some really bad ones, but there's some really interesting ones. Yeah. Like, I, I've actually read the novelizations of the entire Resident Evil series. Oh, how are those? Which is funny, because I never played the games, but... There's one that takes place dur there, There's one that is a novelization of Resident Evil 1, which is really interesting because they try to... They try to add additional writing. Instead of changing the writing outright, they try to add additional writing that makes the existing writing make more sense, hopefully. Because the writing uh, is so bad in that game work. that they say nightmare horrible things constantly. So, like... Uh. He, the writer goes through surprising lengths to try to make that that uh, story make sense because the game doesn't. Uh, huh. Did they but do then, it? but Did as they additional do it? weird detail, there's a uh, there's a Resident Evil book that takes place between each Resident Evil game. So there's oh. like the books are like one, 1 1.5 to 2.5 essentially. That's a lot of oh. red things. I ran out of ammo. So. Oh, I'm being eaten. That's probably not good. Ow. I'm okay, just covered in here a, we go. I'm just covered this in bodies right now. This is the time right for to shine. I'm spider tag. My character won't and stand up. There's too many dead bodies. I can't see anything on my screen. It's okay. I can't I see anything. This. I'm pretty sure I'm stuck on Wanda right this. now. Yes, you I are. Literally, my screen's incomprehensible. This is justice. This is justice. <laughs> I couldn't do Wander. shit for that. Wander felt mission. left out, so now he wants to I kill did. everything. I did, and I got my wish. But yeah, supposedly the Doom book in particular that has Doom Girl in it is supposed to be completely off what? the rails bizarre. There's a Doom... There's a, yes, they made a, a Doom, Doom Girl. girl. <laughs> and it's supposed to... The entire story is supposed to go in the most bizarre directions, and it's supposed to be really amusing. Huh. What's this last ant at? Oh, uh, there they are. It's kind of above there. me. Apparently this level has giant holes. Oh, there it is. Wow, he's big. Indeed. Was. Hello. Falling! I'm just falling! This picturing Doom Girl is We're gonna fight a giant like boss in that room eventually. Counterpart. I mean, I'm just ima series. imagining Doom Guy with a wig on. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little binding of Isaac, you don't Yes, I think? am, girl. 
All right, so where are we going next? Because I need to change my equipment accordingly. We're still in caves. Yep, mm -hmm. let's change my let's change my equipment accordingly. Let's not change a damn thing and continue to be awesome. <laughs> That's all right. Spencer's I've got a. This. Where is it? There Doom. we go. Ricochet. Doom girl. Choose Look. loadout. Spencer's can equip four weapons. That'd be fun. Do I have a? I was kind of useless for that entire mission. <laughs> Because I uh, I tried the heavy mortar, which uh, it's a big old fuck you attack that take, but it's like once every fifteen seconds. It's so brutally slow. This could be bad. Like it doesn't. Could I, be, I, I didn't. Be fun. I didn't have an anti group weapon at all. It's a trap. Are you, lo you oh, looking at Doom Girl? So a lot of the uh, so the Doom novelizations were done by the same person who wrote a lot of the Star Trek novelizations. Yeah. Ooh. The early Halo books were also pretty good. I read one of them. It was so good. It was about the flood. The, the Fall of Reach is really good. Yeah, the, the Fall first, of Reach um, and Ghosts of Onyx, I think. Yeah, Fall of, all the way up to Ghosts of Onyx is good. Yeah. After that, it gets a little bit too much expanded universe because it kind of lost its focus. Also, the, if you like the first Mass Effect game, then the first Mass Effect book is like mandatory reading. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. it's, it, it's a it's an entire book that's exclusively about Saren and Anderson, and also explains that one scientist character that suddenly shows up in the second game that seems to know Anderson. Oh, interesting. Or shows up in the third game. Oh my god! I, Can I do this? Mission where you have to, like... Can I do this? Ah, I'm gonna, well, if, I'm gonna go be protected up. with your behavior. Park oh, myself this. over by this hole. Oh, so now the mission. Oh. So now we're starting the mission at the bottom of that place we were just at, huh? Yeah, I unfortunately. Bert, fell if you're gonna be up there, dumb. make sure, make nope. sure, you freaking uh, get all God, the treasure. There's this so much treasure. So awesome! <laughs> <laughs> I just shoot, and it's just it's the whole cave is like. Unfortunately, the uh, Mass Effect books get so much worse after the first one. <laughs> much like the game. By the end, the final books like literally contradict their own canon and say things that don't make sense and have flat-out bad stories and are written by people that seem to have never played Mass Effect. Much like the games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the mortars are back and I missed them so much. Out. Monitor, ain't no treasure up here at all. I think I just friendly fired myself. Ow. <laughs> yep, I just friendly fired myself. Wait, you got oh, up to no, yourself, all the, your own Oh, all this green stuff is hitting me. Yes. Oh, is that you hitting us? Yes, I've Oh, I'm being murdered by my teammates again. Happens. <laughs> doesn't have to, though. It doesn't could just not have to. It could just you not could just happen. Get, you could just get out of the way. <laughs> I could just be irrelevant to the entire fight. There was this really cool video game I was playing a little while ago that I thought it could really use a novelization. Which was? Oop, that was um, a bad idea. It was called uh, The Lord of the Rings. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, the Return use... of the King game was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that could use a that could use a novelization, I think. Like <laughs> there's a lot of material to work with in that in that yeah. one. I'm about to I can die. even see it being a movie. <laughs> if it was directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> could yeah, probably work really well. I can't wait for Platinum Games adaptation of the Fault in Our Stars. <laughs> Uh, you know that anybody who actually made a novelization out of that book in particular, it would be absolute trash. <laughs> Did you guys ever hear of the novelization of the Pokemon movies? <laughs> I read you the novelization of Star Wars me. Episode 2. There was as if any Pokemon fan has the attention span to read a book. There was a novelization of, like, I want to say a substantial Jesus bird. That really is just instant light show. <laughs> oh, that oh, was fast. That was the whole fight. We didn't have to leave. Weird. Yay! I liked it. Weird. God, oh I felt good out the mortars back again. Every time I change to anything else, it's never as good. But the game won't give me anything higher than a level zero. I need better the mission I need has been better changed mortars. To giant robots. Giant yeah, robots? I wonder what the uh, Ravagers combat the hectors have ventured the resident. Oh, hectors. Be. I should probably Let's equip my fuck you sticks. I, I need to equip my fuck you sticks. Oh, they're not even that damage. That damaging. What? 
My level 4 dispersal mortars just do... They fire six separate 50 damage projectiles, but my normal mortars do 200 damage per shot, and they have a capacity of 7 instead of 2. There's like, there's no reason to use this one that has less range and slower firing and less, and only 50% more damage and lower capacity and gargantuan reload oh, interesting. times. Interesting. The uh, Doom novelization of Doom 3 uh, was written by the actual like writer for the video game itself. That's kind of cool. Everyone loves Doom 3. I've never been able to get it to work. I've never played it. All I know is that if I it's played it, I probably would. If I ever played it, I would probably keep the original way that the flashlight worked. Probably. Because it seems you like that the was their that seems like that was their whole vision, and the, and the part where they modded it out was the uh, they, like it like people would mod it out because they ha they hated the whole flashlight situation. And yeah, then but it's the, a completely uh, different game if you do that. But then when they made the BFG version, they included the flashlight duct tape thing as part of the base game, yeah. which means the developers capitulated. But it seems like that defeats purpose of what they were going for which is admittedly well, something very different from what the, the new Doom turned out to be. Games. I'm almost dead already because Hectors are really hard to fight. Yeah, Hectors are a pain. Why they do they hurt. hurt so much? They also have a stupid name. Hector. Hey, Hector. Ew! I mean, Hector hurt me. You say that now, but you're, but you're gonna be like taken aback when the next version of them is called Salamanca. <laughs> the flamenco. What? You know what's really funny <laughs> what? is that I don't know. I was just thinking he's, some, he's like, never seen. You, uh, you both uh, left for very, very different reasons. <laughs> yeah. You know. You know what I always thought was really funny about Hector Salamanca. The actor is like a short Jewish guy from Philadelphia or something <laughs> like that. And he's playing like evil Mexican crime lord. Yeah. <laughs> He's it reminds so me of the good. Uh, always the, so the we're always good. whitewashing all of our movies. <laughs> it reminds me of the uh, the Italian guy they had uh, for the like oh my Indian God. crying. What that was that uh, us commercials? Uh, that was a Hector blowing up. Oh wow! Yeah, they, they, they yeah they did have an Italian guy for the uh, for the uh, for the guy who was like like crying because people were pooping on his land. Poisoning the uh, environment or something? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I they remember were, they the were polluting. Oh, oh, right. The famous, oh, no. the, fa the part where the famous crying Indian guy is not a Native American oh, at all. Oh no! Please, please, someone save Bird. Uh, you're covered in Hictors, which is not Hector? great. Oh god. That's oh, what killed geez. me. They see me ragdoll. I'm dying. Everything sucks right now. As it turns out, out. How do I revive Bird again? I don't remember how. Me right. I didn't you just go up and press E. I'll right. see if I can distract I don't, know what, I don't know what button Turns it is. E. Oh, I don't you? Yeah, uh, X, F? maybe? F or E. One or the other. I'm on a mono controller. It's okay. I've, got the, he I've got the Hector's covered. Uh, uh, vehicle screen. rescue button. <laughs> they can't ah. even tell you what button it is by checking your key bindings. They'll, they press the vehicle button. You know what that is, right? Yeah, ports are always... um. Bad about that. And eh, Japanese ports. I'm just glad that it actually has proper key recognition. It's like, by the way, this, uh, these are keyboard controls. I'm like, yes, yeah. they remembered me. I exist. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Moisturize <laughs> me. Moisturize me, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> In that triple X parody. That's not a crossover. Is oh there, my god. There's gotta be some. Um, <laughs> he, he just. He, <laughs> the direction some... he had to aim in to do that, like, was breaking his spine. That was amazing. You, so you saw that? Yeah. I was just like. He's, I don't facing, like he's it. facing completely away from you, but shoot, turning around to shoot you, but not by turning around. <laughs> just his arms he wrapping like, around like he's a spaghetti yeah, he man. He like placed it on my face and then shot me. There's got to be some Captain Crunch Rule 34, oh right? Oh my god, of course there is. He's probably he, he's probably taking up the ass from playing the tiger. Probably. I mean, I don't know. Let me Google it and let you know. Yeah, I guess you are dead. Captain, <laughs> are you actually Googling? Oh, you're dead again. Crunch rule. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have the time for this. Captain Crunch Rule 34. It's a rough level. 
<laughs> is it? Is it? Did, his he, magic did you is... find exactly what I was thinking would be there? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. Then you, have the weird, <laughs> then you have the weird fandoms where like there's probably a crossover of like an Undertale character, a FNAF character, and Captain Crunch all doing it together or something. Oh, well, almost all of these are crossovers. Oh, I'm dead. I am dead. Came over hey, to revive man. Bird, and I just lost all my health instantaneously. Oh god, there's there are I had four full Hector. health. I think the building landed on me. I guess that's yeah. A there's also four Hector. Holy crap! Well, this enjoy is... Wonder. We are all awkward ragdolls now. I see. I, I am stuck am in a wall, getting a lot and I'm surrounded of, in Hector. I am getting a lot of pop-up ads on my phone. This that is was probably going to get me a virus. <laughs> <laughs> I am inside a Hector. Wait till, wait till you start getting I'm targeted ads for Rule 34 Captain Crunch. Like, oh, so that's what you're into. Well, I know what's advertised now. Boo boy. That was special. Um, This one has all the different variations of, like, different... There's like choco berries and everything. <laughs> I'll leave it to your imagination to see what the uh, artist did with that. But um, oh my god, the answer will could... quite surprise you. Some of these brands have been around for so long that their Rule Thirty Four could be the equivalent of Sonic Generations, where it's multiple incarnations of the character. Uh, there is some, some, some <laughs> yeah. Choose like there's one where he's like a more slender, like taller version. <laughs> I wonder, has anyone ever done Rule 34 of the Sonic Colors Knuckles with, like, the shorter Knuckles? Shorter Knuckles? Yeah, like, the original the original Knuckles with, like, the tall Knuckles that's all buff. I feel like people just don't acknowledge that. Oh, you Probably mean not. the Sonic Boom Knuckles? Yeah, yeah, Boom Knuckles. The one where he's, like, all tall. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Googling weird brute stuff. knuckles. That's like, I, yeah. got, I got bandages on my wrists for some reason. This is how the cool kids do it, right? I think I'm just gonna try to snipe. My chat is like trying to summarize some of this Rule 34. <laughs> I'm not okay it's with fine. this. I'm, my chat is giving me website recommendations on where to find <laughs> Rule 34 safely. I feel like if we keep going down this, um... This this track, we should just call ourselves Funhouse and be done with it. We just gotta revisit Wander's original quote, which is that Vor is not art. <laughs> it it's isn't? Not, a, it's that's not a art. real Wander by quote from World of Warcraft. Son of a bitch, it's not art. <laughs> a really weird specific place to let, draw a line. <laughs> this feels safer. I'm just gonna hang out back here. What if. What if I took a photo of Vor and like with like an Instagram it. filter? Yeah, yeah. Does it become art then? Pop okay. art? What if what if I printed out some Vor from the internet and then like did a reproduction in oil paints? <laughs> that worries me. All of this worries me. People do weird things for art. I remember on so DeviantArt at one point I encountered an artist that would make all of her paintings out of her own period blood. Yeah, that's that is I knew such an old school. Way Maybe of it was doing the same that. person. I hope. Well, not. it's a very <laughs> original <laughs> idea. I hope not. You want, you'd rather think that there's I more than one. I don't want that to be our six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Well, would you rather no, think there's no. more of them? <laughs> Dude, I don't want that to be our Bacon. Me? That's like one of the hallmarks of like. People like covering up their inability to paint in like shock value. Ha having a gimmick. Yeah, people have been doing that for so long. I mean, and they always can't. Oh no, I didn't mean to roll. But then oh. they're like, the, like I, I knew some. It gets on uh, my nerves because I, I people always like are like, oh, that's so shocking and daring and like crazy that they're doing that. And it's like people have been doing that for like 50 years. It's not new. I knew nope. somebody that was was trying to get other people's period blood to paint with. And I was like, that is, you are the creepiest dude I've ever met. Yes, oh, paint dude? with. Dude, that's not even yeah. anything. Definitely yeah. not. Yeah, paint with and not some sort of creepy fetish. Give me your period blood. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if he... I don't think that'd he made be, it past the first episode. quarter of college. Of course uh, not, because uh, somebody like that is so bankrupt of ideas. He definitely was like... Aiming to be the biggest shock artist possible. 
Like that no, he was aiming to not life. have like talent. Gotcha. Yeah, probably. And he grew up to be Edgar Wright. <laughs> Edgar the Wright had a lot just of be talent. The weirdest, <laughs> just be the weirdest connection of like a transition. <laughs> no, I, I just watched Baby Driver today. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, I saw really... the reviews for it. Yeah, Baby Driver and Spider Man got good like movie. crazy good reviews. Baby Driver gig got obvious priority for me because oh, I really obviously. like all of his movies. Oh, no. I'm What's next up? to some Burp. Hectors. They're oh, big. yes. These are special yes. Hectors. You They're are. Gonna kill me. This There's so many Hectors. It's the Salamanca. Just, Just fly over here, bird. I ran out of fuel inside of the Hectors. Oh. Oh. That's generally not a great idea. They have a lot of ammo and a lot of range and a lot of damage. They probably have By the way, they ammo. back up like real fast. I didn't realize this, but they, they like shit up. Oh no, that building. Backwards. I, I am what are you slow down doing? Slow down, fire, so I can shoot you. Oh crap. I'm trying to hide amongst the buildings so I don't get shot. This is how I die. There's so many. How do you fight these guys? Uh, turns they're out we're everywhere. supposed to. Turns out we're supposed to have AI companions helping us here. I'm, I'm down but they're all again. dead now. No, they're just stupid. <laughs> I just also recruited a bunch Lancer. to follow me around. They're just standing around, like at the end of the street. How you doing over there, Burb? I'm unconscious. B -b 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 -b. Oh, they got lots of guns. I'm gonna there die. Are... I think I'm gonna can... die reviving you again. I can see one, two, three, four hit door. Thank you. Ah ah ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see peace. any Hector. Instead, I see many Hector. Oh, you guys are fine. Uh, well, okay, fine. Want to be the arbiter of whether I should I'm be scared of stuff or not? I'm looking at Keith's health, and he is not. You're invalidating my feelings. I'm invalidating Keith's worry warding. No, like, your feelings don't you, matter. Did you me. not see what happened last time when I had 100% full health and I approached Bird's body to revive him and literally instantly died? <laughs> Yeah, that's actually what uh -huh. caused us to lose. Yeah. Fair point. I went from 100% health to 0% health because these guys just destroy you. Like, they're ridiculously yeah. damaging. Oh, I'm, hey. I'm trying to fight them exclusively with, like, heavy artillery long-range sniper weapons because if I go near them again, I'm yeah, just going to die. I'm using, I'm using snipers because it's the only thing that, like, keeps me alive. God, their range is accurate. Yeah. That's also not a sentence. <laughs> I got my wiggle gun. They're accurate and long range, and <laughs> instead I just mix the words together a bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh god okay. damn it! I think. Oh, there the goes my health. Does make. I think yep, there. I, the yeah, I'm not getting out of this. Bye. I may or may not be prioritizing picking up weapons before coming to get you. <laughs> it's been sitting here in the boring emptiness. <laughs> Hey, I got I got upload I got uh, revived into being master uploaded. Chief. Yeah, <laughs> I got uploaded to the Matrix. Wow, he really has the spinal cord of ages. It can yeah. turn in in every direction. Choo. Yeah, they like they just they just spin. Yep. God, their explosions are huge. Yeah, they are. It's oh, so I mean, dramatic. Giant robot. It works. Oh <laughs> my god. Wow. Look at that Weapons. giant list that of is... not I... new things. Oh, I got a bunch of new things. <laughs> no, because I'm switching... got anything worth anything. Because I'm switching much. between characters, I'm just getting loads of goodies. I got an entire Ooh, screen of stuff, and the only rifle. update was a, a higher level deflection shield. 